Welcome to the Biostock Studio and the first ever spring edition of our flagship event, the Biostock Life Science Summit. Over the next two days, we, together with our partners, Nasdaq and Porter Clarkson, will bring you more than 20 exciting presentations from Nordic life science companies, as well as panel discussions with industry experts. But without much further ado, let's get started. First out is Kasporox and CEO Matt levander Welcome. Thank you so much for that introduction. And yes, my name is Marta levander and I'm the CEO of the company Gasporox. And what we do is quality inspection of containers of pharmaceuticals, food and beverages. So what we do and bring to the industry is a uh, fully automated inline inspection of these containers. Uh, we do pharmaceutical food and beverage containers and we have the products of sensors that we provide directly for inline in integration to our machine builders and instrument that we sell through a distributor network. Uh, our products are based on a patented laser technology that makes it fully non-destructive and means that you can have an automated inline control. We are listed on First North Nasdaq and we are located here in Lund. We are a team of 15 people our focus is, of course, sales and get our products and technology into the market. Within the company, there is also a broad technology competence. And we have, for example, built the company GPX Medical that was divided out of the company. We also have a, a project on porosity and material analysis of pharmaceuticals. But let's talk about why do we do what we do? We all know that we are a growing population of 10 billion people that will reach by 2050. And all of us produce, use a lot of pharmaceutical, food and beverages. And it's seen that this is a lot, it creates a lot of food waste and well, almost 30% is discarded even before reaching the store. We also know that 67% of Sweden's population collect prescription medicine. And 135 million injections per day are made from glass containers. And these are numbers before the pandemic. So you can imagine how these have raised the last period. And all of this creates a lot of waste within the quality inspection. And one thing that has been shown uh, to be very efficient is uh, the use of um, modified atmosphere. That gives a sustainable production and a safe production, which is key. Uh, looking into the importance of modified atmosphere packaging, it has been seen as one of the most effective ways to reduce food waste and improve packaging, for example, by using modified atmosphere packaging. But what is modified atmosphere packaging? It's about the gas inside the packages. We talk about oxygen, we talk about carbon dioxide, we talk about nitrogen. These are standard gases that are present in, in ambient air but having the correct gas mixture of them really gives a longer shape life and a safe product. And what is important then is that you have the correct gas mixture and that you have a tight package. They're talking about package integrity and leak text uh, integrity, leak testing. And this is exactly what Gasporox technology can provide uh, a quality measure of. So if you th think about, for example, uh, fresh pasta, not maybe all of you are aware that this is packaged in a modified atmosphere, but an open package has a three day shelf life, while an intact package has a one month long shelf life. This is the same within injectables, for example, Ivy bag, where it's very oxygen sensitive product and often packaged in a primary package and a secondary package with an oxygen absorber around it. And this shows the importance of having it really dependent on the gas mixture inside. And it's about sterility, but it's also about the correct gas mixture. mixture. And that's exactly what Gasborox technology can provide information about. And we have then modules where we can measure both in pharmaceutical, food and in beverages. And it's all everything from vaccines within pharmaceuticals to uh, within food, it's meat and ready meals and beverages, it's wine and champagne. These are all big segments. You see food being the largest, but looking at the, the product price of each of them, pharmaceutical, of course, has one of the highest. But what is interesting is that uh, these are all segments that we can reach. They are controlled by different uh, regulations and directives like USP and FDA. One especially interesting part is the parenterals 
that has a value of 500 billion US dollar, which is a large portion of the total pharmaceutical market. And here it's really critical that our injectables that gets tested. And this is one of our key applications. Uh, what is interesting with Gasborg's product within these segments is that we use the same product to reach them, but we cannot reach these ones all at the same time. So we have decided to do them year by year here. So now having a pharmaceutical focus and moving over to food and then beverage. But the product is the same. A little bit about product inspection today. Typically in a factory there is a lot of automated uh, inspection. We have check wires, x-ray, vision system with cameras, etc. But the gas and leak integrity is typically very manual. Uh, and you have to have these control points, both in food and pharmaceutical. It's quite highly re regulated. And we have reached so far that within pharmaceutical, it's actually even mentioned our technology with laser headspace analysis, especially then on lyophilized vials for container closure test integrity testing, which is a really shows that our technology has a really benefit and need in the industry. And that's also why we have now put a lot of focus on the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, what about the test methods today? These are typically destructive in nature, extractive with needles, operators using instruments that extract the gas, manual testing, it gives a lot of waste, it's inefficient and unsafe production while the tested product does not go out to the consumers or patients. Uh, looking at the gas borox method, you get a fully automated inspection of both the gas mixture and integrity. And it, you, the ones who doesn't pass, they are rejected directly online. It's automated, it's no unnecessary waste, and it's cost efficient, and it's a safe production. Uh, this gives 100% control. Uh, we have it in three product lines, the gas spec that measures gas inside the package. We have the leak spec that measures the gas who leaks out of the package. And we have the instrument series where we also have put some emphasis the last year to also offer for lab and at line testing. The business model is divided in two segments. The sensors that we sell to machine builders for integration that then sells to producing factories while the instruments are sold directly and through a distributor network to a producing lab factory or lab. While through this, we get both an expansion in segment and in geographical expansion. Uh, Given an example, like the sensors or products are produced here in Lund and we provide them to an integrator somewhere maybe in Europe. And by them providing it on a global scale, we can then with one customer reach on a globally, which is ideal as a small actor. Adding then each different segments on pharmaceutical food and beverage and different partners within this segment, you realize that this is a very scalable business model that we as a small local actor still can maintain good customer support and still reach globally. Similarly, we have in our distributor network where we also work on a global area scale where we produce in Lund and we have the instrument then are provided. Focus areas now are Asia, North America and Europe. And there we have a pharmaceutical network and also a food network. These are not always the same. We have a scalable business model that enables us as a small player to reach globally and to many different markets. Uh, looking at our strategy, we talked about the business model with long-term agreements and distributor network. I talked about the segment expansion where we now keep a focus on pharmaceutical, then moving over to food and then beverages. We're doing the geographical expansion. We have a target of 10 to 20 percent of newly installed lines annually. This is now reviewed for each segment where we also now know we can reach instruments and also reach already existing lines. But our focus is continued growth and always to keep technical innovation. And as I mentioned there, we have uh, there built the company GPX Medical from history. Uh, that was a dividend divided out of Gasborx in 2020. We also have a project on material analysis that we are seeing on how to incorporate in our business, where we last year got the, uh, f we became a finalist in the CPHI Pharma Award, a very prestigious award. So this shows that we have really interesting potential also for other aspects of our technology that we're always taking care of. 
Uh, looking at the finance, uh, looking at the 2020 year, we grew by 21%. Uh, we had a turnover of 12.5 million and we had a uh, negative minus 4 million EBIT. Uh, we closed on a cash of about 24 million. We have a positive sales development but with a pandemic impact. Uh, our expansion strategy affects operating profit but we are really segment by segment moving forward here. Looking at the first quarter numbers. Uh, we had a turnover of 3.3, 7% up from last year. They continued focused on market, market establishment, the pharmaceutical focus. We also got a Vinova grant. Uh, we still experience a continued impact from COVID-19, that is traveling restrictions and also especially on food segment, we see that we have a troubles, uh, more difficult to do some integration projects. Uh, this share you can see from the last year here, a big increase when we did the dividend of GPX Medical, but we have a stable ground. Uh, we have 8.6 million shares, uh, 1,200 shareholders. We have a market cap of 120 million Swedish crowns. We have a very competent board, the chairman Per Nyström. Uh, also the owners represented through Christer Forius and for a capital and also Jan Erik Smith from Gobia Enterprise. Uh, looking on the future now 21 to 25, we have been in a phase of a pre-market where we have sensed where are our solution best in the market and now we really feel that it's the pharmaceutical focus where we feel the, the market pull and we need to go on this one. So now we're doing the market establishment and we do this by focusing the strengthening of sales team. We have an experienced and senior team. They have several years of experience in technical sales to the pharma industry. We have them located in Central Europe. Uh, and we also do investment on these systems and modules. And we are further recruitments ongoing and planned during 21 and 22. Uh, the plan forward uh, is the segment expansion, pharma, food, beverage, as I mentioned. We have the Geographical expansion, Europe, Asia, North America. We have them, uh, the complete modules uh, for faster distribution, standalone instruments and modules. And this is also part of the pandemic where we cannot travel and do the integration project as we typically have done. Uh, this means the instrument series that we have expanded. Uh, the latest one being our GPX 1500 Film Pharma that was launched just a couple of weeks ago. This is a unique product where you for the first time can measure non-destructively in IV bags. We have had it tested at pilot customers and got very positive feedback. It was just launched in connection to PDA Parental Packaging Conference and uh, we are now excited to get to see how the market responds to this one. Uh, this is a, what we call then an instrument, which is used for atline testing or lab testing. And by is, you can then easily measure the oxygen within such a pharmaceutical bag. Looking further than in 2021, we have the secure the long-term growth, of course, in focus, strengthening the sales team, as I told you, more integration customers, sales of instrument, a geographic expansion where we have Asia in focus, we do the instrument and modules for easy integration and fast distribution. Uh, we have an expansion in pharmaceutical market. And that's, a, for example, the launch I just described to presented to you. And always to review our technology potential. Uh, and we have the focus that all packaging with modified atmosphere shall be inspected with Gaspar's products and solutions. And why should you then invest in Gasporox? We work in several large growing markets. We have a unique technology. It's a patented product. We have a leading position with this solution. It's, we have a clear and strategic plan and we work for a sustainable and secure production. And we have a technology with big potential. So with this, I thank you for listening and open for question. Thank you so much.
Um, like you said here, the solution can be applied in a wide range of, of industries, but the focus will be pharmaceuticals. Just to sum up, why did you decide to focus on the pharmaceutical industry? Uh, we have had a couple of years now where we have done what we call pre-market, test a couple of different solutions in these pharmaceutical food and beverage segments. But where it, what is very clear to us is that pharmaceutical is one step ahead in when it comes to like quality control and inspection. And there we have got to the level where our technology is well known. If you reach, if you visit a pharmaceutical conference and you talk about the HSA method and CCIT testing, they all know what you're talking about. We get a lot of requests on this. So to, to, to follow up on that request, uh, we have then decided to have that focus. In parallel, it's also been that we have been blocked by an exclusivity that is going out to, to this uh, September now. So this is also like we have not been so well known in the pharmaceutical industry. And now we say we need to build our own brand in this to take the full potential. And that's why we're adding the instruments, we're adding IV bags, we're looking into ampules, etc. So there's a lot of things also to be done within the pharmaceutical that we, we understand is maybe easier to reach in the short term and uh, compared to beverage, uh, the food and beverage. I would also say that the pandemic has had an impact where we see that the, the food and beverage are a little bit more uh, business as usual, that they're up and running while pharmaceutical is really pushing forward and taking like many leaps forward now. And I mean, are really, really you see many new actors also popping up and also you need this inspection then part of it. Yeah, so it would be a good opportunity to, mm. to get into that market. Mm. Yeah, and I would say that we are in that market, so it's more about talk, taking the next the step. next step and taking it to new uh, segment. Like now we reach uh, certain, but we maybe don't reach Asia as much. So, for example, mm. Mm. and you did mention here that you have patents for the products and so on. What does the patent situation look like, and what's the strategy in that area? Mm. Uh, we have a clear uh, patent strategy in the company where we have, first of all, we have quite many broad patents. We have a patent family of seven or eight patent family and then we take we have a strategic way to do them first we go to sweden pct and then us europe uh, typically japan uh, and then we have sometimes more on the technology maybe then it could be on specific product it can be a specific package format so we, we always have quite open eyes on how can we patent these things and we've been quite successful in getting our patents approved mm. And then finally, you did tell us a bit about the plan for this year, but what is the most important thing for you to achieve in the business during 2021? I think the, the pharmaceutical instruments is a key for us this in 2021, but also to become uh, the brand within the pharmaceutical industry because we have not been well known there and that's we are taking more action on that we had planned to be exhibit at the cphi last year but it was cancelled now it's postponed to the fall so we're very excited to be present there but also we we participate in the di in digital events we have posters we we try to with and with the instruments it's also easier to to get the more direct contact with end users mm -hmm. so so it's a lot about building Gasborx as the pharmaceutical company that we actually are, that maybe not everyone is aware of. Mm. But we look forward to following you then. Yes. And thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you so much.